Damn, this feels good, man, to be here. Oh, man. I used to dream of this. Look at this. Look where I'm at right now. Oh, man. Hold on. Look at this, bro. Look at the city from afar. It's always much, much more beautiful from afar. All right, got another random vlog on my phone. I don't even know. Should I make this a series? I don't even know. What should I call it? Vlogs? About to, I don't know. I don't know. That's stupid. I was really just out, and I realized that I came so far. And, you know, I feel happy. I feel great to see how far it came, see how far, you know, I progress. I don't want to say this. I guess I am going to say it. I don't know if I mean it, though. But... It doesn't feel as good as I thought it was. And that was one of my biggest fears that I thought was gonna happen that I didn't think was gonna happen because I thought when I got to Miami and I started doing YouTube and I started getting followers, I was gonna feel happy. When I do, I do feel happy. But I thought it was gonna feel like, I don't know, I thought it was gonna feel different. When I had literally like 30 subscribers, you know, getting to a thousand was like a celebrity status. I thought a thousand subscribers getting like a thousand views, fuck, not even a thousand, 500 views. I thought that was living on top of the world. And I've done that. I've done it multiple times. I think I got, I think my highest view video is almost at 20K views, which is crazy. Even though I made that like a year ago. So it's kind of like, am I good enough? Because why, why is a video from like almost two years ago? getting more views in my videos today and i feel like i'm my editing and storytelling and all of that is way better whatever that's besides the point i've realized no matter how far you go and i'm glad i realized this early because you know it'd been tragic if i would have got you know everything i could ever wanted millions of followers the money the fame blah 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 and honestly i don't even care for the fame or money i just want an audience to spread love to but i'm glad i realized that no matter how much money or how many things you get you know, if you don't have anybody to spread it with, it doesn't really matter. I was sitting at that bench there, just, you know, by my lonesome. And I realized that, you know, back in my hometown, so if I show you guys, back in my hometown, there was a place just like this. We called it the, we called it the, um, fuck, what did we call it? Has it been that long? How, how, I forgot the spot. How did I forget the spot? Let's just call it the creek. You know, it was a place called the creek that you guys know how it is. You know, you hit the group chat, boys, let's hit the creek. Bro, what the hell is a gang of scooters? What is... Bro, is a... They ganging up on scooters now? I got you. I don't even know what to say. Like, what is Miami? Miami is a fake city. Why is there guys, a gang... I shouldn't say gang, they were all black. That is racially profiled. Why is there a gaggle of guys? riding scooters and the dude screams out yo put it on your youtube channel like bro what is mine Miami? miami's a fake city it's a fake city but back to what i was saying so it was a place we could go to to just you know hang out as boys because you know it's guys I, guys i know how it is life is hard it's tough you have so much put upon you at a young age especially you know you gotta be you know you gotta make money you gotta go to school you gotta be you know ready you gotta be ready for marriage you gotta buy a house you gotta do all these things and you don't even know you know what your fuck you're gonna eat tomorrow you know like how the hell am i supposed to figure out the world i'm not even like i don't even understand like my schedule you know and then it hit me all at once you know i was sitting on that bench and i realized yo i don't have my guys with me i'm doing all of these things and yes i'm gonna keep going of course i love it i love youtube i love you know putting a dent into this god forsaken world holy shit i wish i had my boys with me you know if they ever see this yo guys we gotta link back up everybody Devin, dylan austin the boys man back to, back to those good old days austin he always wanted the stream you know you he, he used to watch this streamer named tifu i don't know i never watched streamers like that i remember my boy dylan wanted to create music you know he was really good at it i don't know why he stopped my guy Devin, I believe he started to like get into the streaming, but he wanted to always be a YouTuber or he wanted to do football. But now, you know, he wants to get into YouTube creation and streaming and all of that. And, you know, he was on a goal to do that. He was coming to move here and, you know, start that journey with us. But then, you know how it goes. You know, a guy gets a girl. Oh, this feels kind of good. I'm finally starting to accomplish my goals that I've always dreamed of. Fuck, it feels good. 
don't get me wrong it feels so good i don't want you guys to be like oh my god we gotta get these guys to, like no if they want to live their life you know doing what they want to do i'm not gonna force them i'm just this is just me speaking on how i feel as an individual you shouldn't force anybody else to follow your dreams so if you have a dream to do something and your boys you know don't want to do it or they got they got their own dream you shouldn't like cut them off or Say fuck them because they want to. They want to follow your passion because look, bro, you chose that path. I chose my path. I decided that I wanted to be a YouTuber. I wanted to move to Miami. I wanted to do this. So like to force that upon anybody, especially my friends, the people that I'm supposed to love, that's been there for me since the bottom, to like throw them aside just because they don't want to follow my exact path is not right. So I'm not saying, you know, this is like to hate or you guys need to get them out of here because that's not the goal of this video. Never forget those that uh. We're there for you at the beginning, you know. Even if you did it without them, you know, don't forget them. You know, if they ever need your help, I always go back. Because, oh, I'm not going to lie. If they ever need me in a time of crisis, I'm there. I don't know. I guess the, the phone feels so different. Like, I'm able to just, I feel more relaxed. Like, I don't, like, people looking at me and I don't even care. The camera, I don't know. I guess the camera is way bigger. So, it just, it feels too, too professional. I don't know. This is kind of like. I don't know. I like it. There's just too much hate going around in the world right now, which is why I try my best to spread positivity. You know, I'm tired of people hating on each other. Every race hates each other. Everybody hates each other. It's just too much. Yo, don't mind the hair or the acne. Fuck. Oh my God, I look terrible. I have a fucking problem, bro. That's not, and I'm, this is not, this is water, 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 not any alcohol. I have a fucking problem. I have to get rid of this shit. I can't be on the internet looking like this. Holy shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hope. Okay. I'm not going to lie, man. I've been struggling with it. You know, I really tried to quit. It's going to sound a little funny, but I don't think I'm actually addicted because... I haven't bought my own, well, I haven't had the money to buy it, so who knows? If I had the money, maybe I would have bought one. But in reality, I haven't really bought a vape. But anytime I come in contact with it, I just have a really strong urge to hit it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud that I still do this. I thought by now, because I do feel like I have a pretty strong mind, a pretty disciplined as a person. But here I am, still doing the same stuff. This is my roommate, and he told me that this would be his last one, so... Um, as long as he doesn't buy one, I don't think I'm going to get into it. That's pretty much it. I have nothing else really to say. I am just pretty disappointed in myself. But, you know, I'm only 22, so I make mistakes, right? Right? Can I say that? How, like, how long can I keep saying that? I don't know. Can I keep making that same excuse? I'm still young. I'm still trying to figure things out. I'm not neon. So, you know. Yeah.